How well do you understand what you believe? Or are you just repeating what you heard from someone else? It's nothing like the feeling of enlightenment that overwhelms a heart when you finally answer God's call of salvation by recognizing that you need a savior in your life. At the moment of repentance, your past starts to replay in your mind like a highlight reel. But the nature of this highlight reel pulls you closer to the truth of God and further away from Satan's lies. And you attempt to tell everyone you know how great it feels to start walking toward the truth. And let's be honest, every person who receives salvation has this feeling. And in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 through 20, Jesus tells us, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Many Christians like myself get so excited when it comes to evangelism, and many people do not have a clear understanding of what has suddenly taken over their lives. In the Great Commission, Jesus tells us to make disciples of all the nations and teach them. But how can we make disciples when we have never been discipled? And how can we teach when we have never been taught? In many cases, us as Christians do a good job at leading them to Jesus Christ, but fail at discipleship and teaching. Has this happened to you? You accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you walk away more confused and lost than you did before you accepted Jesus. This happens because too many Christians talk a good game, but are too cozy with the world to actually walk this thing out. Therefore, many people get in the habit of repeating what they hear rather than learning what they believe. Evangelism, teaching, and discipleship are a very important cause of a Christian's life. When we fail at putting these three things together, we fail at leading lost souls to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm going to leave you with the Bible verse that will help you when you decide to go out and evangelize and teach and do any type of discipleship. Follow me to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. And the word of God reads, But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to anyone who asks you to give a reason for the hope that you have. And do this with gentleness and respect. Many of us don't realize that we are God's feet and hands in the world. We have to do a better job at evangelism by living this thing out. But we have to do this with gentleness and respect, along with transparency and a commitment that people truly deserve. So the next time someone asks you about what you believe, let's pray that you truly understand. Take out the word of God and apply it to your life. Love, faith, serve is a primary goal of our walk in this whole entire world. God bless.